Did you know that IBS sufferers have a 94% chance of having psychiatric disorders, especially major depression and anxiety? And your likelihood of developing major depression increases by 24% within 12 months after taking one course of antibiotics and 45% within 12 months after taking two courses of antibiotics. For many of us, we don't necessarily connect gut health to mental health, specifically depression. We think it's all just in our head and we just need to toughen up. And yet the latest research into the gut microbiome and brain axis is revealing more than we originally thought. So in this video, I'll break down how probiotics, but more specifically psychobiotics, can help depression, brain health, and mood, while helping to improve gut health and give you four steps to help you get started. Hi, I'm Ben Angel and I teach people how to biohack their way back to health. Before we dive in, hit like, subscribe, and click the link below to join thousands of others who've already downloaded my brand new book, Mind Control, to learn how to biohack their gut, mind, and mood. If you're struggling with depression or you've just taken a course of antibiotics, this is a really important video for you to watch until the end. You see, in researching my latest book on gut health, I spoke to doctors in gut brain access research from MIT, Stanford, Harvard Lifestyle Medicine, and the Gut Institute to uncover the missing links between gut health and mood. The truth is all roads lead back to the gut brain connection. So here's what we know today and what you need to know in taking back control of your mood and recovering from depression. Researchers have learned in the past decade that our gut microbiome is a little drug factory creating 90% of our serotonin, a neurotransmitter that modulates our mood, cognition, reward, learning, memory, and other physiological factors. Our intestines are where we also create our motivation neurotransmitter called dopamine. Scientists have now determined which bacteria that you must have in your body to make these neurotransmitters that have a psychological effect on the brain. These bacteria are otherwise known as psychobiotics, which means they have a psychological effect when they're ingested. For example, to help boost mood stabilizing serotonin, we need candida and streptococcus. To help boost dopamine, which helps to motivate us, we need bacillus. And to help get the anti-anxiety and relaxation effects of GABA, we need lactobacillus bifidobacterium. The latest Oxford studies show that the abundance of specific bacteria is prevalent in certain personality traits. People with more extensive social networks have more social interactions, which creates more gut diversity. Those that were more adventurous eaters and ate naturally occurring probiotics like fermented foods, kimchi, kefir, and prebiotic fibers also have a more diverse gut community. In contrast, people that are stressed and have smaller social groups have less diversity in their gut. This helps to support the findings that people with psychiatric illnesses have more gastrointestinal disorders. The downward spiral of gut imbalance might lead to imbalances in creating our neurotransmitters, hormones that regulate our moods. So what does this mean? Well, healing from depression is more than just forcing yourself to think positively. Yes, mindfulness is of course a key component, but trying to think positively when you're lacking microbial diversity that has a profound effect on your mood and motivation it's like putting gas in a car that has a gas tank with holes in it. Sure, you might get a few miles down the road feeling good about your progress, but you'll come to an abrupt halt again and lose that momentum that you've built up until you address the root causes, which both have a psychological and biological components to it. And this is also where psychobiotics come in. Psychobiotics are the potential missing link to help kickstart your body's response to shaping your moods through the gut-brain connection. Research indicates that psychobiotics can also reduce levels of cortisol and increase levels of oxytocin. Scientists have even catalogued specific bacteria as they relate to various states of mental health. In a large population study, part of the Flemish Gut Flora Project, researchers investigated the correlation between microbiome factors and quality of life and depression. Not only did they find a link between the gut microbiome and mental health, but they were able to catalog the exact names of bacteria associated with good and bad quality of life. And I include seven of those strains in my latest book. So what do you do with this information if you're looking to heal your gut, mind and mood and recover from depression? Well, here are some steps that you need to take. Step one, 
recognize that depression isn't just in your head. You can't outthink bad biochemistry by medicating with self-help. You may get better, but you won't necessarily get well, especially if you don't address the underlying causes that affect the production of key mood neurotransmitters. Step two, microbial diversity is key to ensure you have a variety of strains that have a psychobiotic effect on your mental health. Introduce a different whole food to your diet each week and consider a psychobiotic supplement to help give yourself a boost. Step three, open up your medicine cabinet and look for NSAIDs, which are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs that harm your gut microbiome and the intestinal lining. You wanna to speak to your doctor about other alternative options. Step four, you already know this, but you may need to hear it again. You need to get serious about your diet. Not only will a shift in diet help your gut health, it will help your mental health. If you'd like help with this process, join me for the Biohacker's Guide to Dismantling Depression upcoming workshop, in which you'll use our online tool to find out what's causing depression, brain fog, low energy, and drive. Then I'm gonna step you through a comprehensive and personalized approach to getting your body, brain, and life back. Check out the details below because it's filling fast. And while you're at it, be sure to grab a copy of my latest book, Mind Control, to learn how to heal your gut, mind, and mood. Finally, hit subscribe and drop me a comment below to help support this channel. And I'll catch you next time. Take care.